How much of what you hope to get done have, have you accomplished, do you think? I wanted to be a part, I, it's not what I accomplished, but I wanted to be a part of sort of a fundamental change in the province, to be here for it. Maybe, maybe our government could set a tone for it. So an attitudinal change where the province had a, a much more, uh, generally speaking, I think the people of Saskatchewan were ready for a positive attitude and demanding it from their leaders that we should be, you know, we should aspire to be national leaders with the resources we have and the people we have. I want to be a part of that change, and I think it's happened. People of Saskatchewan have made that happen. I hope we have set the tone a little bit in government. I wanted to be a part of an economic restructuring, you know, to, to our growth plan sought to, to make sure our regulations are competitive, our taxes were competitive, but also that we would, as a government, invest quite a bit more on the infrastructure side and create some lasting economic changes. And I think that happened. There's 167,000 more people in the province today. And a lot of that was intentional. Our graduate retention plan for young people graduating from post-secondary, 53,000 young people have have uh, subscribed to that uh, tax reduction and stayed. Um, same with our immigrant investment, uh, our immigrant nominee program. 92,000 new uh, nominees in 10 years, way higher than we had seen in the past because of changes we made and goals we set. And so that transformational population growth is going to last for a long time. It's helping get us through some downtimes. You know, right now the Royal Bank of Canada is forecasting we're going to lead the country in growth again, coming out of some low commodity price. Uh, periods in our, in our history. And part of the reason is I think the fundamentals are changed. And I, I'm happy to have been whatever part of that I, that I have been. Do you have any regrets uh, on things that maybe didn't get done or things that you're thinking back now and going, oh, I wish that would have been accomplished? You know, we balance budgets for the first years in government and here lately we haven't, the last two or so. And now we won't have a balance for three years. And that bothers me. Um, Commodity prices were forecast to be low for one or two years, uh, and it's been we're going into year four of that. So that's why we, in this budget, had to make some tough decisions about a structural rearrangement of the finances and moving more towards consumption and away from a dependence on resource revenue. And, but even in the end, even though we have a three-year plan to balance and the second best debt to GDP ratio of all the provinces and a AAA credit rating still that we were able to get in the last 10 years, still a deficit, and that, uh, that bothers me. In the plan for growth in 2012, that was pretty ambitious. Uh, there was a couple things on there, wait times, ER wait times, and uh, right. Indigenous graduation rates that didn't right. uh, come to fruition in the way you had hoped. Uh, right. Was it too ambitious of a plan, or can those things still be accomplished, do you think? I don't think a plan can be too ambitious. I think government should set big goals for itself. I mean, when we said uh, the overarching goal of our economic growth plan was to grow the province by 100,000 people in 10 years, economists said that's not going to happen. That's statistically impossible. Of course, they were right. It was 167,000, not 100,000. And a credit to the people and some, hopefully some policies that we made, changes that we made. So I think you should have bold goals. We had them around surgical wait times. We've achieved them. Uh, went from worst in the country to best for a while, second best right now, according to a report just a few weeks ago. But on ER wait times, we've seen some improvement, but no, we missed that target. And uh, same is true for graduation rates for First Nation students. Although we have seen some improvement, we haven't reached the goals that were set out. You know, you've heard this before that the SAS party Brad is the brand. That's kind of a you know, catchphrase that's come up from time to time. What does the next leader, whoever it is, need to do to continue sort of um, on your like, popularity and, and sort of your legacy? Every leader of every political party needs to just do the work, get out there and meet people, especially in an age where if you do have cable TV at home, you've you got 100 channels. And if you don't, how do we get... You know, un you know, unfortunately, frankly, they're not probably watching local news or uh, not always reading the paper. And now we have satellite radio and they, folks aren't answering their phone. And if it's a pollster, they don't want to talk to the pollster. So how do you connect uh, as a, in, in terms of a political organization? How does a new leader connect? You got to go around the province. You got to meet people. You got to be on their doorstep. You got to, that's what I worked hard to do early on. And our, our leadership candidates are doing that now. You know, by definition, they have to, to, to try to be successful to win the leadership. What will it take, for, in your mind, for the party to succeed going forward? That, I think, that connection with people. I think we have to always strive to remember that this is a job that requires humility first in, in service. We have to remember, we all have our, I mean, I have my own principles, and the back of the SAS party card highlights the things we believe in in terms of policy and ideology, and that's important, and that's got to be the guidepost, the North Star for 
the party going forward, but even ahead of that, we need to make sure we're reflecting the values of Saskatchewan people back to them. So if they unequivocally say we don't want to sell any part of a crown, period, not 10%, not 5%, we better listen, better make that change. Uh, and I think that if the next leader and if the party continues to be responsive, I think, all, I think people have gotten used to the fact that growth is probably a, the thing for government to pursue to, to create the climate for economic growth because of what it pays for and quality of life. So that's a good general thing directionally to stick with. But most importantly, we need to make sure we're always reflecting uh, people back to them because that's what they, we work for them. Do you think that's one of your, what was one of your strengths to kind of like taking the temperature of the public and, and maybe changing your mind or, or, or going forward with something that maybe wasn't your idea or you know, bringing forward an idea that you thought the community would like and go with? I hope so. I mean, I, I think that's essential. That's more important, like I said, than ideology. Uh, is, uh, is this is, we're temporary here. This room lasts forever. It represents the people out there. And we, uh, we who sit here for any period of time are temporary. And the moment we forget that, uh, I, think, I think we'll make, start to make more and more mistakes. So if you can check yourself uh, and, and correct a mistake and, and let folks know that you're still listening, again, I don't think it matters what party it is. I think that's a powerful thing. On the crowns issue, for example, it, it became apparent as I would talk to people that Though we view privatization as 51% plus like a controlling interest and define it that way, people didn't share that view and moreover they thought we broke a promise. And that, that was a very serious thing for me because in 10 years we've worked hard to keep the promises we made. And someone once said, you know, the eight most powerful words in politics are they did what they said they would do. I believe that to be the case. Uh, and uh, I think that's why people will give you to cut you some slack uh, if you say, you know, I think we might have we messed that up and here's what we're going to try to do to fix it. Thank you. Thank you very much.